if you have those cheap white wow racks and you want to learn how to make it looking nice you are looking at the right video if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos make sure you subscribe that way you don't miss out for the next one Well, my son's room had the old wire shelving in it, which uh, didn't really hold up the best, and it doesn't really look the best either, so we thought we'd update it. Start out with putting in the shelves across the top, and then put two pieces of wood, like the shelves, down each side in the corner. When we did that, it looked like it was taking up so much space out of the closet, so we went ahead and cut the centers out, and put a bevel across the top as you can see. As we fasten the shelves then we got to figure out where are the studs at so we put holes in to try to find the studs but a little bit later I'm going to show you how you repair that. Use a hammer and fill in or dent in these like make them in there soft like coned out a little bit and then we're going to stick some mud on there to take and repair those. I've got holes everywhere where I was trying to find a stud and then you can just go ahead and fix them. And I, I cut the same board I put up here, I cut down here and made one five inches and the other one four inches that way it stuck out both and then 45 to the corner so it looked nice and I screwed that down tight you can see the screws back there then i went ahead and laid that and the, the studs right in the middle so that's how it's going to be fastened and and i drilled these because you don't want to split and center so close to the edge and then i will go ahead and screw that down next and then i'm going to drill this corner and stick a real small finishing nail in here to, to hold that into place. And after that's done, then I will repeat for that shelf and that shelf. Okay, I have the brackets screwed into the stud in the corner. I got two of the shelves in up there. We got the four shelves down there. We got four shelves up here. Now this here looks a little unfinished, so what I did is I cut a piece of wood and then put an angle on each side, fits in there right perfect, and we will screw it into place. And then there where I had the marks, I'm gonna nail in some finishing nails to hold that in place. Now we'll just take and caulk up all the corners and edges and clean this all up putting in the right side of this lower bar and how this works is you got these anchors um, just kind of press that in there like that and turn it right into place and just make it as flush as you can we'll put this on here put some screws in and it'll be secure and we have the screws and now what we do is pick the rod anchor and we just center that right up by measuring from the top so we have it the right height we need. Okay, we got everything caulked and sealed up and smoothed out and all the holes mudded in. We got all this trim to put on gonna cut this and put trim the whole way across here and the top and then we're gonna put trim to cover up this cut at the edge and put trim around all the corners I'm gonna put corner molding down across here same way down below okay we have everything in shelves are all in trims all on now I'm getting ready to start painting the primer 
now we have all the white paint on and looking pretty good they don't always go the way you expected we decided that we didn't really like those two brackets underneath that holds these shelves in place so of course I got to remove them and when you do it you kind of damage things so now I'm going to repair I got the shelves out and then you just take a hammer and you kind of pound these in just to get a little bit of a concave mark everywhere and then now I'm going to take and put some put some uh, drywall compound smear that on there nice and smooth and then let it dry overnight and then repeat a couple more times until you get it nice and smooth the way it was before we put shelves in so I got some drywall compound put inside this tray and I kind of work it like that to get all the air bubbles out and then I just run it down across here fix my mistakes and that is all it's to it and then I'll go ahead and do that side let it dry overnight got a nice coat of drywall compound spread onto the damaged drywall okay I got the new strips installed put two screws in one on each side right in the corner where the stud is and then put two on each side above and that kind of helps put the shelf right into place and I think this will do a much better looking job and I went ahead and put caulking around the edges that way that that gives it a nice clean look especially in the corner where the screws are and there we go with the finished product now we have all the white paint on and looking pretty good. Levi, he should be so excited. Got the railing screwed in and we're all ready for clothes to be installed here. Got a nice place there for his shoes. And what's neat is it's open up top and then you can see the light come down through. How about it? Even a nice ledge there for his hat. Now he'll have a beautiful looking closet just like his sister's. And I'll mention that. Go ahead and check out my video of putting that in for her. And don't forget, subscribe for the next do-it-yourself video. You just don't know what you might learn next time.